Hello, my name is Adam and this is YouTube channel Adam Fuseman. In this video, I would like to share with you guys my thoughts about the wonderful CRM customer relationship management system, which is called Service Titan. I would like to start with pros of this CRM system because we've been using it more than, I believe, nine months and I already have my own opinion what's going on with this CRM and what I like and what I hate about this service Titan. Let's get into it. So the first thing I like to mention what the CRM system Service Titan does have very wonderful API integration with any other platforms you can imagine. You can pull out the all information what you need to the Excel files, maybe to Google Sheets, whatever. For example, in our company we integrated our service titan with company which is called data cube and data cube prepared for us very wonderful dashboards which we are reflecting in our monitors in the kitchen and every employees can see this information about how we did how our sales doing during the season months to date time or year to date time and this is very great we can pull the any information about the any division we can have we can exact see how much time every dispatcher spent with each customer and how many memberships sold by each operator on this particular dashboard and this is just great and this is everything thankfully by api from service titan second thing what I'd like to mention, this is about the dashboards and they are in the service titan very configurable. So in first place, you can see very simple dashboard, which is just uh, integrated by default in the service titan. And here's a, we have a lot of information, but because I'm running the financial direction of the company, so I pull the information I would like to see every day. So my dashboard, which I configured for myself, it just shows how much money we received from the customers year to date and uh, which marketing programs works much better than others. So I pull the whole information in just one dashboard for myself and I call just this dashboard Fuseman. As you can see, we here have the different other dashboards which are made by the different divisions and they're very happy with it. For example, we can pull the purchaser dashboard and we can see what kind of an upcoming job report we have here. So we can pull here the data about the, our calls, what's going on today, exactly what was happened yesterday. So we've got yesterday 35 leads, we've got 30 jobs booked, who made more calls yesterday, who made more booked calls. We have a percentage of the booking rate of the each operator. So it's great. Dashboards are great in the service Titan. And this thing I very love in the service Titan. So the third thing, what I love in the service Titan for their module, which is called Marketing Pro. So Marketing Pro, this is a thing which is just a shows kind of the funnel where our money flows and how we get the all our book jobs books like bookings and whatever 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 so i can pull the whole year regarding how much money revenue we generated in compare the last year we can see here is a kind of a little bit wrong information for example if we will pull the data for last 30 days as it was shown before I would say it's very close to the trough because in November last year we just started to use the service titan 
and we pull the full information from our previous CRM system and just to download it here to the service titan during the integration and right now it's a little weird shows the things but i hope after november we will see the exact numbers which is gonna show us how we made the business and compare the last year so here's a lot of things we run here's a lot of campaigns we can see exactly how much money we can spend how much money we spend for each campaign we're running with our marketing budgets we have here like a direct mail we have here email marketing programs so etc 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 and it works great because before we used to use mailchimp we used to use the direct mail from the other companies which are didn't work very great direct mail it's like a questionable thing but we're trying to use it like a time to time so it's kind of good thing what we can track directly just everything from here from the marketing pro tab in the service titan i would not mention any like other things in the service titan but it's like a lot of things to know you can find in this in the service titan.com information but it's just a great thing to have because the previous CRM system didn't have this feature at all it did but it just was kind of limited in compare with the service titan so we have here the kind of we can send the direct mail for example just to, to our existing customers but we can just do the acquisition of the new customers so the service titan will pull the own database with all new customers in particular area you can send the direct mail and it will just do that and you will have a calls from the new customers and new customers will appear on your database so the next thing the next thing i would like to mention for about the pros on in the service titan this is the inventory we didn't have the inventory in the previous system i know the inventory in service titan it's still in the beta version but it actually works great and it works great in terms of the running the all projects integrated with warehouse and we will just uh, pulling the any materials in our price book and put them to the final invoice for the customer or even for the estimate so it's very convenient to have this inventory feature inside the CRM and thumbs up for this feature honestly so inventory looks like that we have here the, a lot of things like items going on I'm not very familiar with this thing but my guys just are very happy what's going on inside the system so we can see here the technicians tracks what we can have in the technicians track so for example my truck is empty so requisition for the installations right now what's going on with all the sales we can see in just the one place and this is just great thank you service titan for this next feature i would like to mention this is called schedule engine so schedule engine this is a thing from the service titan the feature which includes the taking calls from customers when your dispatchers cannot it can take the calls or leads directly from your website so on our website we have a web chat which is just an integration from the service titan if the customer will text something here it will directly send information about this text to the service titan call center i believe so on the night time if we will not be able to answer the call from the customer call center from the service titan will get this call and will get scheduled instead of our dispatchers so this is a very great feature the other great feature i can say this is we can schedule any any call just directly from our website it's just a integrated javascript to our website and any customer can just uh, schedule anything they can upload and just to send directly to our crm system service titan which is very great and obviously they can schedule the exact time and date they want to see our technician 
The other thing I would like to mention in this video, this is a trip analyzer between the calls. So this is feature is kind of in the beta right now, but we are using it very well. So Service Titan does analytic about how much time every technician will spend between the calls. So, and it will show optimizing ways which technician can be assigned for the particular job. Sometimes we have a situation when customer would like to see our technician just right away and our dispatcher able to schedule our technician just right away. This way our technician can make few calls in two hours window for example like Anthony right now if our dispatcher will see what our technician very close to the customer which is just a call right now they can schedule right away with this particular technician in this area and maybe this trip is gonna take him about five minutes and uh, book analyzer can as well offer to dispatcher what this call is very well fit for the particular technician who does able to sell something more, who can able to fix something faster than other, and this technician will be more efficient on this particular call. The other thing I would like to mention in this video, this is uh, phone integration. Yes, the Service Titan does have a feature which is showing the calls during the call from the customer and it could be directly just uh, scheduled from the service titan itself yes it's kind of the bi-directional thing i mean one direction thing because if the customer calling to our phone which came from the service titan and it will be redirect from the service titan to the our call center phone so we will see this call here and this call will be recorded completely from the service titan for example if i pull some of the customer information for example like adam fuseman i will see all jobs here and all jobs all calls i made to our phone number will be recorded call may be monitored and recorded for training or quality assurance purposes so the other thing I would like to mention in the pros about the service line and this is a customer portal. The customer portal, this is a thing I wanted from the other CRM system because customers can just log in to our customer portal from the service titan and see their invoices, their projects, what's going on with their permits, what's going on with all their payments and why they still do some money to our company and with this is very great because before we had to send every time the information about the invoices whatever the things and even if the customer does have own login and password to our CRM system they can directly just a book from this customers portal this is very great and I love it one more feature I would like to mention about the pros. So recently Service Titan announced the new feature which is called Fleet Pro and every our truck in the company can be integrated with Service Titan. So we can see all our trucks where we installed already their webcam like a cameras and we can see where they are right now. So for example right now my vehicle is just uh, right away close to the office and I can see how many miles I made it today or yesterday and uh, this thing can analyze the behavior of the driver for example I can pull the own data and I will see how I did during the particular period so last seven days I've got the score from the state service titan 76 and I've got 100 seven speeding events and driving time 15 hours and I did the distance traveled 450 miles it's kind of great information about the driver and how they are utilizing our trucks I just installed this camera for myself I wanted to see how this system does work and how integration works with service titan and I would say it works great I still don't see the all features we 
was promised by Service Titan in the beginning. But let's talk about the disadvantages or cons of the Service Titan, which I hate. So the first cons, disadvantage to having Service Titan, and I hate it, absolutely hate it. And all the time, it's just uh, something happening, something like a new happening with Service Titan and uh, manager from the service titan calling us like uh, making the appointment with uh, ceo of our company with stan and what's going on they just uh, just have the app sell strategy to everything they making they're making some of the like new feature like a fleet pro upsell it's kind of it's not upsell it's they just like offering but it looks like for me like an upsell if you are offering something new feature just uh, deliver to the customer and all set why you have to charge the money for everything you can sell like a marketing pro it's been released like uh, yeah you have to buy it no you can you you can just keep it like a standard the marketing pro but the feature which they are delivering it's absolutely needed for our company and we just say yes take our money we have no choice because we're already in this service titan and i hate it second cons from the service titan which is just uh, related for the first cons they have a lot of interaction with real people service titan is it platform or something like uh, just uh, came from the HVAC industry yes i understand what the the owner the original owner of the service titan they are like uh, HVAC owners, contractors, etc., etc. But they kind of have the same strategy. Salesperson contacting you and then upsell happening. A lot of interactions with real people. Even if this kind of the sub technical support or something or like a customer success manager, it's all about interaction with people. They're wasting their time our time it's not about kind of wasting but it is i don't know so i know i'm like a millennial right now the gen z coming they will not be able to talk with you guys so think about it because if i want some the new feature should i just like press the button and turn on the feature and just uh, put my credit card information or just uh, agree with new expenses why i have to interact with the real people doing all these things just to press the button and new features comes up in the platform i don't know i have to sign something i have to spend one hour with sales rep Whew. i don't know this is a disadvantage guys from your company honestly next disadvantage of the service titan UI user interface I mentioned already in some of the, my previous videos in this YouTube channel about how service Titan is awful but I wanna still mention this in this video honestly in last six months service Titan did a great job they're trying to eliminate all flaws in their user interface and they are doing great job but still a lot of things could be optimized for example how can i pay for the invoice for the job i don't know we are contractors most of the contractors very small i would say brain okay and for us it's if you will have like a few buttons do this do first do second do third do fourth and get paid all set if you wanted to get all these five steps like a send estimate make a job close the job send invoice to the customer get payment send paid invoice with all pictures all these five steps should be done by different scenarios it's just a over complicated process and our each employee should be trained yes the service titan does have very great training stuff videos whatever and it's work great but if you need something like a quick quick integration quick transfer from the one uh, CRM to the service titan it wouldn't happen very quick the people who are switching from the other CRM systems to the service titan they are just struggling we've 
done the struggle and we're doing some struggles still with uh, by working with service titan but we're kind of fine right now because we're already in the service titan nine months but in the beginning it was just nightmare fourth thing i kind of like it but i just don't like it how it's represented by blue color nerd in the youtube channel of the service titan ladies and gentlemen the blue collar nerd <laughs> Honestly, it could be made more official, I would say. And uh, yes, this guy is great, but this is a very, I don't know, it's very official thing. Why you are like a pulling the jokes, jokes like, like that, I don't know. So, or like even the singing the song in the beginning of the video. Maybe someone like it, I really like, come on guys give me the just to write the way the information i need about the new features about the new releases i just don't like it let's get to the next one so i already mentioned about the fonts pro and uh, the fonts pro integration it does have absolute platform in my opinion and it doesn't work in all countries because here in the san jose california we don't have own dispatchers here in our office and all our dispatchers working abroad the country maybe like russia ukraine armenia uh, mexico so a lot of people like turkey our dispatchers are everywhere but not in just one office we can make happen the fonts pro integration and this is very weird thing and I hate it because I love to get Fonts Pro, but I hate it because you cannot just deliver it to us. You may have to just hire someone more modern day communication engineers. So, because right now it just doesn't work how it's supposed to work and we still cannot use it. That's very sad. So, Service Titan, this is just a one CRM platform which is could be paid by your supplier in 50-50% proportion. So if even we are paying for the service Titan more than $20,000 for all integrations we have, it's very expensive. It's just, uh, I wouldn't say I'm greedy about it or something. It's just a more expensive, 20 times more expensive than others. CRMs. I don't know. So maybe you have to just uh, make simpler version of the service Titan and sell to the other people and then sell the features they may want to see on their side. I don't know. You have to figure it out because right now the old pricing system of the service Titan is just a very miracle and people really don't know about it how much money they have to spend in the end of the integration with service titan the other thing service titan does have a lot of things which are over promising like elon musk promising about the full self-driving beta in like six years and still don't deliver it's just it cannot be done very quickly we quickly because the service titan it's already over complicated crm system and uh, there is a lot of connections between the every feature inside the system but yeah it's hard to tell how it can be done very quickly the other thing i very hate in the service titan this is what the technicians should use ipads or even any other tablets with bigger screens because the font inside the application it's very small and some of the guys just don't see what's going on inside yes it could be used in the just a regular iphone but the service titan itself says you have to use tablet come on guys nobody using ipads right now even if you are millennial or gen z few years they said are you 
normal or what's going on with you all our guys 90% they are using own phones for using service titan and this everything happening inside just a small screen yes that's fine but if this feature available you may just have to think about it how to optimize this screen or ui for using inside the phone without any tablets because the tablets it, i just have to run all the time the second device and it's very stupid i have a lot of tools like that in my um back and why should i run with one more tablet with me this is kind of weird and i hate it okay guys this is all my opinion and it's not just my opinion it came from all my company right now we have a 141 in place in san jose and uh, we kind of not big we may be just a, like a medium company who are using service titan but we believe the service titan can do better and i hope you enjoyed this video and find it very valuable for you guys even if you are from service titan because a lot of things can be done in service titan easily in my opinion like just by optimizing some of the features so thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one